As difficult as this time is, it's only by complying with the guidelines, combing, shampooing, combing again, that we can reduce the chance of these nits spreading. Uh, I'm now going to hand you over to our expert from the Lice Po Lice, Laura Tumley. Thank you, Janet. And I am pleased to say that there is some indication that that knit curve is starting to plateau. Can we go to the next slide, please? As you can see, this is our borough here. We're doing really I've actually well never heard this. Knits. Oh, my God, if I was a knit, I'd be all over your head like an all you buffet. I'm going to hand out some leaflets in a second about that. Thank you. Laura, uh, we can take some questions. Uh, yes, Darius is, Mum. What's the school doing to protect against the spread? If we find a live case, the child's table will be isolated. They're sent home until they've all been treated. Next question, please. Don't be a dick. We want to go home. Yep, here. It's about the grannies, really. Um, I have my mother living with me, albeit temporarily. I'd like to stress that. Do I have to do her as well? Yeah. Uh, grandparent hair is thinner and basically dead, so they're less at risk. But we do still advise keeping your distance. So you're recommending, according to the science, that I should ask my mother to move out? Uh, um... That's all we've got time for. Laura does offer a Knit Blitz shampooing service if you're interested. Okay. Yes, I have Thank some leaflets. Cheers. Jeez, £300 for a shampoo party, isn't it? Vidal Sassoon. Jesus Christ, just a couple of piddly knits, not even life threatening. You can't die of knits. You can die from knits, actually. There's an old woman in Kildare and she scratched her head so hard she made a hole in her skull and some dirt got in it and it killed her. That's a harrowing limerick, Anne.